Such an fire eyeing up the wall. We asked him what he thought rugby and gladiators had in common. In my sport, I spent a lot of time running away from fellows who are quite a lot larger than myself. Martin's going to be chased by Nightshade. <laughs> Ellery's going to be chased by Lightning. <laughs> John Anderson. Celebrities, you will go on my first list. Gladiators, you will go on my second list. Three, two, one. Well, it's the battle of the rugby stars, Martin and Ellery. And Martin said he normally finds himself running away from the big fellas. Now he's running away from the big girls, and they don't get much bigger than Nightshade. Here comes Lightning and Nightshade, two super climbers, and Ellery is in trouble right away. Lightning hot in his trail. She's got his right leg. And she's not going to let him go now, Mike. Martin's doing well, and he needs the points, pulling away from Nightshade. Martin has made it to the top, however. He's got 10 points. He's moving on in the competition for sure. Yeah, he has got lightning on his back. Who changed places with him? I think we all would, actually. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> it certainly is, Mike. Lightning is having the ride of her life. Ellery's not going anywhere. At least he doesn't want to. <laughs> Certainly beats uh, tackling in rugby. Oh, she's off. She's taking him off. She's pulled. Ellery Hanley comes off the wall. It wasn't easy for Lightning, however. Martin, what were you just saying then? I was so scared. It reminded me of my, my sister chasing me when I was little. <laughs> no wonder you got there so quickly. Yeah, well, it wasn't the best technique, but you know, luckily I got up there. You were a bit worried about that, weren't you? Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Well, you got yourself 10 points. Well done. Thanks so much. Nightshade, how fast was he? Well, he was very fast. I'm not surprised he's one of the most valuable players in Britain today. Do you think if you had caught him, you'd have been able to pull him off that wall? Um, well, I would have had a good try, but it'd been rather nice cuddling him for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you are. Let's hear it for Nightshade. Ellery. Oh, boy. You must have... <laughs> You must have been tackled before, but not by a gladiator, and not for that long, and not with so much enjoyment. Well, it was absolutely fantastic. The thing about it was... <laughs> the thing about it was, is that I planned it all out, all morning, thinking, right, I've got my route ready and everything, and then I set off, held for leather, got my foot grips going and everything, and then, all of a sudden, I could, hit, I could smell all this perfume coming after me. <laughs> so I gave in. <laughs> you did enjoy it, then? Fantastic, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> a tough grip, doesn't he? He certainly does. I couldn't have tried any hard up there. I mean, you saw what happened. I thought, he's never going to come off. Never. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do, but eventually I could. He's got a very strong grip, very enjoyable. Thank you. <laughs> Let's hear it for Ellery and for Lightning. Friends for life. <laughs> Lightning thanking Ellery. I think uh, if I was Ellery, I'd be thanking Lightning. But if they're going to be friends for life, let's hope they celebrate with a James Bond Christmas martini. Shaken but not stirred. Contenders are Derek, who's going to be chased by Zodiac, and Mark, who's going to be chased by Jet. Over to John Anderson. Celebrities, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. So Jet will be coming after Mark and Zodiac is on Derek, but if Derek is as fast up this wall as he was on the pyramids, then he's going to be up the top before Zodiac gets going, and here she comes. Oh, and Derek slipped a bit there. And Jet's already on Mark. It looks like what Jet wants to do is beat Mark to the top. She's got him right now. Meanwhile, Derek on the right is up and over. Zodiac with no chance. Derek Redman. Ten points. Second time this evening he's picked up maximum. Jet has got oh, not again. the soccer star, football star, all wrapped up and down he when goes. When is Christmas, Mike? I think he may have wanted to get caught. I'm sure he did. I think looking at everybody else, you'd have been preferred to be caught, wouldn't you? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm just pleased to be up here and get ten points. I'm quite pleased with that. What's the hardest part of the wall? The hardest part was coming over the end. I just clipped a certain part of my anatomy, which I could have done without <laughs> clipping, actually. Well done, you got yourself ten points.
He should have been wearing his Christmas box. He climbs into the lead on 23, Eddie's on 20, Martin 19, Mark 17, Barry 11. Ellery sinks to the bottom on 9. Well, he shouldn't have enjoyed himself so much with lightning. Event number four is Pursuit, and we're kicking off with our two highest scorers. Eddie's going to be chased by Jet. And Derek's going to be chased by Lightning. Over to John Anderson. Celebrities, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. And for this celebrity special, our celebs will get five second head starts. It seems a lot, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough, Mike. Both Jet and Lightning extremely fast on this course. The contenders have only practiced this morning, whereas the girls should know it by now. Can they catch these two fabulous athletes right now? Derek Redman running away with it. He's already across the wire bridge, now on the hand ladder. Uh-oh. Look out, Eddie. Jet's closing in on you. Oh, he's dropped off. But what is he doing? He's chasing Jet now, and who can blame him? Derek Redman's over the low wall into the web track. Oh, interesting technique. Jet will tag Eddie. No points for him. Derek over the high wall with a tape in sight. Not unfamiliar to him. Down the sprint finish goes Derek Redman. He's got himself another 10 points. He really is doing well tonight, Mike. And what a great technique on the web trap. He long jumps it. So next up is Martin, who's going to be chased by Nightshade. And Mark's going to be pursued by Zodiac. Over to John Anderson. Celebrities, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Who has the better footwork? Our rugby star, our goalkeeper. Well, I think it's Mark. He's skipping on and off that beam. Like most goalkeepers, he doesn't like corners. Oh, he slipped over there and cut another corner. Mark indeed well on the wire bridge. Here comes Mark. Martin having all kinds of problems on the hand ladder. I think the referee is turning a blind eye in this charity event. He's not even touched the end run. Merry Christmas, Martin. <laughs> Gladiators trying their darnest to catch up here. Well, they're not going to catch Martin, probably the fastest winger in rugby today. The Gladiators not even in sight. Martin is coasting home down the... <laughs> well, we call it a sprint finish. He is just walking through this thing. Uh, he's even got time to do his shoelaces up. I don't know what's happening here. Zodiac was chasing Mark, and it's Nightshade that's caught him. Well, what a confusion in this event. We had Martin missing rungs out on that ladder, and the Gladiators swapping celebrities. I'll blame it on the Christmas spirit. Well, three very confused people here. Myself, Mark, and Nightshade wasn't... Wasn't Zodiac chasing you, Mark? Yeah, she was, actually, but when I turned around, it was a different colour. <laughs> <laughs> this obviously wasn't pre-planned, Nightshade. All of a sudden, you're on him. What happened? Um, I just turned around, and I thought, where's Martin gone? Oh, Zodiac seems to be after him, so I'll leave her to it. And then I got this charming young man, and that was fine by me. <laughs> oh, I shall go and watch a few games now. I think you should. Nice work. Nightshade and Mark. Well, oh. goalkeeper's not used to scoring, but it looks like Mark has. So last up for pursuit, it's Barry, who's going to be chased by Falcon. <laughs> and Ellery's going to be chased by Panther. <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Celebrities, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two... What? Barry and Ellery, our last pair of celebrities to go here in pursuit. Given the five-second head start, here comes Panther and Falcon. And, Michael, I have to tell you that this is the first time that Panther has rejoined Gladiators since a nasty fall on Tilt, and it's good to see her back. Well, what's happening here? Our two celebrities not too sure which wire bridge to take. They've sorted it out now, doing well, and they're neck and neck. Now both men across. Barry on the hand ladder. So is Ellery. Whoop! That's blown it. Barry falls off momentarily. Look out, look out. He's had it. Falcon closing in. She's got her man. Just like the Mounties. No points for Barry McGuigan. 
Well, let's see if Ellery can get into the points. <laughs> That's if he ever gets out of that web trap. <laughs> Wide-eyed and legless. Safely over the small wall. And onto the second web trap. But no sign of Panther. Panther at the moment, no threat to catch the rugby star. Is he going to get a nice hand going down the sprint finish? I'm sure he will, Mike. Oh, Panther taking a shortcut there, but it won't count. Ellery picking up ten points, and he needed them. Oh, and he picks up a cuddle from Panther, but he's glad he came on Gladiators. Cuddles from Lightning oh, and Panther, Ellery. all in one show. That wasn't bad, was it? Oh, I wasn't bad. I'm getting used to this now, though. I like it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's good or not. You did very, very well. Ten points. Well, the help from the first event, I got none, so I'm just hanging on in there. So I'm looking forward to the next event. Let's hear it for Ellery. Well done. And excuse me, there was a touch of Lady Penelope going through those nets. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be back actually at Rika. I'm recovering from the bad back injury and it's just nice to be able to be back on the course. <laughs> and to be just walking through it very casually, trying oh, to no. cheat there in the end. No, cheat? Not me. Actually, at this point, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who sent the get well messages and the flowers. Aww. Thanks very much, Pam. Let's hear it for Panther and Ellery. Well done. Well done indeed. So after four events, Derek 33, Martin 29, Eddie 20, Ellery 19, Mark 17, Barry 11. Sadly, at this point, we say goodbye to our two lowest scoring celebrities, Mark and Barry. Well, we have to lose two people and. Um... It's a shame it's you two guys. I mean, have you had a good time? Yeah, very much so. I really enjoyed the day and uh, hopefully we'll be back sometime. Yes, that would be great if you could come back and um, I bet you're pleased to go home, aren't you? <laughs> a little bit. No, I really enjoyed myself and um, had a great time. Well, you stay and watch. We've got another couple of events. Barry, you've not been feeling your best all night, have you? No, I've been feeling a bit lousy. My, 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 uh, my knee was hurting this morning in practice, but I don't want to use that as an excuse. My, I've had a tremendous time. My wife and kids have had a great time. Uh, I, would I was looking forward to the duel with, uh, with Wolf to get my own back. He pulled my trousers down at the start. I was gonna, <laughs> I it's was only so much a man can take, quite <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Absolutely. I was looking forward to getting him back. We've had a great time. And, you know, hey, it's for a good, great cause. It's for charity. Absolutely. It's been nice to see you here on Gladiators. You out of the goal and you out of the commentating yeah. box. And I expect we'll be hearing a lot from you uh, later on. <laughs> Joel and the Eliminator. Join us after the break here on Gladiators. <laughs> <laughs>